Hello everyone, my name is Ankush Jain and in this video we are going to learn how we can deploy an Angular app to Amazon S3 bucket along with CloudFront distribution. So we will quickly see this architecture how it will look like on a high level. So it is very simple architecture. So we will store our uh, Angular app in S3 bucket and we will put a CloudFront distribution on top of it. So once you are going to request from your browser, the request will go to CloudFront and it then it, if the uh, CloudFront has not stored the items in its cache, then it will forward the request to the origin S3 bucket. Now, uh, the next time you hit, it will check whether the the objects are stored or stored on CloudFront Edge locations, then it will return from here. So this would be the simple architecture and uh, we are going to create an Angular app in this video and uh, deploy everything on S3 bucket and CloudFront. So as a prerequisite, you need a Node.js uh, installed on your system and Angular CLI. So if Angular CLI is, uh, I mean, of course you have to first install Node.js in order to install Angular CLI. So you can click on this link, which I have provided on this page. So from here, you can install Angular CLI using this command. I have that Angular CLI installed on my, on my machine. The next thing, AWS account. So you will need an AWS account so that we are going to use to deploy uh, Amazon, uh, deploy Angular app on S3 bucket and then CloudFront, use CloudFront distribution. So uh, we will be following these steps one by one. So first step, we are starting with the first step. So create a new Angular app project using ng new. So I have opened this command prompt. Let me minimize that. And uh, okay, so I will move to this path. Okay, so now I'm this path. Now I will create a new Angular application. So ng new, ng new demo Angular app. So it will take some time and it is going to create uh, an Angular app in background. So would you like to add Angular app routing? Yes, I would like to add. Okay, I would like CSS and it is creating an Angular app. So I will pause my video here because it may take some time. I will resume once the app installation is complete. So you can see uh, an app has been created successfully. So I will go to this location. Okay, let me pull it here. This C Ankush POC's demo Angular app. So you can see this app has been created here. Now we will come to the next step. Run the app locally using ng serve. Okay, so I will have to first clear all this. Then I will move to my Angular app directory. Now I will run this command ng-a ng serve hyphen hyphen open and will hit enter. So it will build the application and will uh, launch it in Google Chrome. So it is generating browser bundle. So again, I will pause the application here. Uh, sorry, pause the video here and then we'll resume once it is done. Okay, so you can see the bundle has been generated and the application has been launched automatically on 4200 port and you can see this is the basic angular app so now we are done with the two steps run the app locally we can see that this kind of app will be uh, running on uh, aws cloud now we are going to create a new s3 bucket and keep the public access turned off so we'll move to aws console we will go here s3 bucket now i can see i mean click on bucket and i don't have any bucket as of now so i will create a new bucket so i will provide again the same name demo angular app i don't think this would be available but let's try so i'm going to select mumbai region and make sure that uh, block all public access so we are not going to provide any public access to this bucket this bucket would be completely private and secure no one outside no one can access it from outside so now we are going to with the default setting so i got this error message as i was expecting that this bucket is not 
uh, the name should be globally unique so it is not so let's try with this okay so now the bucket has been created now we'll build the angular app using ng build so now the next step what we are going to do we will build the application and will generate the artifacts and then we are going to upload those artifacts in this bucket so as a fourth step i will uh, run the ng build so i will just do control c and i will run ng build here so it is running the command in background So again this is this i mean these kind of steps may take some time so i'm again stopping my video and then we'll resume okay no uh, so now the build has been completed and the artifacts has been generated so i will move to this uh, angular application folder and you can see a dist folder has been created and inside this uh, we have these uh, published artifacts so now what we are going to do is we are going to upload these artifacts in s3 bucket so again just to verify that the, this is also our fifth step so upload published content in s3 bucket so we are going to open this and i will copy this path i will click on upload button i will click on add files then i will move here and i will select all the artifacts here and just click on upload button so it is going to upload the artifacts so now the artifacts has been uploaded in this s3 bucket moving to the sixth step now we are going to create a cloud front distribution so i will go home and or i will search directly cloud front front okay i will click on this cloud front distribution so you can also clear, create a cloud front distribution from here or you can click here i will click here create distribution and here i will the bucket will automatically uh, automatically get populated here so i will just select this uh, leave this empty uh, here uh, this would be the name of origin so by default it will keep it same as the bucket name but you can change it so now pay attention here origin access so this is something uh, i mean the idea here is we have made our s3 bucket private now no one from uh, from the internet can access our bucket but we want cloudfront to access that bucket so for that we have to select this origin access control settings and that is recommended one so here you can read you can limit s3 bucket access to only authenticated request from cloudfront and we recommend using oac earlier uh, the oac option was not there and it only oai oai was there so now we are going uh, with the recommendation now we are going to create one control setting so this control settings we will go with the default and we will select sign request so the requests which are going from cloudfront to s3 will be signed and using some internal authentication mechanism okay now uh, it is saying that cloudfront will provide you a policy statement that you will have in uh, have to up, uh, i mean you have to copy it and update in s3 bucket policy so now we are not going to change anything so uh, this is the default cache behavior here you can uh, choose your viewer protocol policy as per your requirement i am going with the default but if you just want to keep it https only then you can select this if you want that the, all the requests should be redirected to https from if someone is trying to access it with http then you can select this one but for the sake of simplicity i am just keeping the first one here you can select what kind of request your angular application can accept so i am just keeping the get and head okay so just going with the defaults and uh, now i am just creating the distribution so this distribution is now currently in deploying state you can see here and uh, the s3 bucket policy needs to be updated so you have uh, you will get this notification and you just need to create on copy policy and you will get a link also so you can just click on this link and it will open the same s3 bucket okay so you can see the block public access so public access is still blocked and in the bucket policy sorry in the bucket policy you will just click on edit button and just copy uh, i paste the items that you have copied from uh, here 
so what this bucket policy is saying so this bucket policy is saying that the principal so principal is cloud front so it is allowing the cloud front allowing because effect is allow and what actions it is allowing it is allowing the get object on s3 bucket and on what resource of s3 so it is allowing on this particular s3 this is the arn of s3 bucket and there is also a condition so when the source ARN is this, so not every CloudFront distribution can access your S3 bucket, only this distribution can access your S3 bucket. So this is what uh, bucket policy is saying. So we'll just save this and we'll go here and it is still in deploying state. So we'll see what is the next step. So we have created a CloudFront distribution. Okay, so now let's just let's wait for this to complete it. And I'm pausing my video again and we'll resume once it is done. Okay, so so now this deployment is finished and it took around uh, three to four minutes because uh, this distribution is copying the data to all the edge locations. You can see use all edge locations. So it takes some time to create a distribution and copy the content to uh, all the edge location across the globe. So you can see that this distribution has been created and here you have got the distribution domain name. So if I just click this and I will hit it in cloud so uh, sorry in the browser so i will just hit enter oh we got this error and i because i know we are going to get this error so uh, because now let me tell you why what is happening so basically it is trying to uh, uh, so if i just you know let me show you how it will work so if i just try to get index.html then it works because a document uh, so when the request is going from here to here, it found the index.html. But if the key is, uh, I mean, we are trying to uh, with the root key, which is simply a slash. So there is no such item with this key. And uh, that's why you are getting this error. So if I try, if I mean, if you have certain URL like uh, admin and then ABC, then also you will get this error. So uh, to fix this issue, we have to, uh, I mean, uh, if we look into this issue and if I just try to hit enter, then we are getting 403 error in the browser. So uh, as a fix, what we will do, we will go in the error pages of the CloudFront distribution, create a custom error page, we'll select the error 403 and here in the customized error response, We'll just add index.html. So, and similarly, if someone tried to access a URL which uh, which is not present uh, in the S3 bucket, so we'll also cover the 404, and we'll also redirect this request with index.html. Okay, I will have to change it 200. And again, here also I will have to because uh, I mean, however, the request will serve index index.html, but the response code will still be for 403. So I'm going to change it to 200. So now, what will happen whenever these kind of error will occur? Index HTML page will be served with 200 error. Uh, so, sorry, 200 status code. So now let me close this and try it F5. So you can see that uh, the request has been redirected to index.html. And if I try to ABC, then XYZ. And again, I have been redirected to index.html. So now your application is running on CloudFront distribution. And I guess we are done with all the steps. So verify the Angular app using CloudFront URL. So we have very, we are using the CloudFront URL and the Angular app is working. So what additional check I will uh, do here. So I will just open the developer tool and we'll do a, uh, I mean, refresh this uh, page and we'll see. Now I will verify that uh, uh, I'm getting this kind of, you know, message here in, in the response header hit from CloudFront. So it says that our requests are uh, coming from CloudFront hit from CloudFront. So this ensures that, you know, uh, our content is stored on uh, CloudFront cache and it is getting returned from there. However, server is still coming S3. So that will keep on coming like S3, but it is actually hitting the cache of CloudFront and we are getting the response from CloudFront.
so i hope you have liked this video thank you very much for watching this